Hello and welcome to another video. Now this one is still about implicit differentiation. You know, for some people, when they get a question like this, the first thing for them to do to look for dy dx is to isolate y. So most people would do this. They get this, and then they go ahead and differentiate using the chain rule, or what you call the composite rule, okay, uh, or composite differentiation. Yeah, but the first answer you get is going to be pretty ugly, okay. I know what it's going to look like. You're going to have a product that also requires the chain rule when you do the second derivative, then you have many terms scattered around, you have to do all the algebra and bring them together, and then you have to be careful, and then you cannot afford to make a mistake. But if you use the implicit differentiation, the chances of mistakes are smaller. Let's see how we do that. Using implicit differentiation does not require anything moving. So we're just going to differentiate where it is, okay? We're going to say that d dx of x to the fourth plus y to the fourth equals d dx of 16. Well, we know that d dx of 16 is going to be 0, so we can as well just write that on this side. And on the left-hand side, we're going to differentiate x to the fourth. That's going to be 4x cubed. We're going to differentiate y to the fourth. Now, y to the fourth, you treat it as if it's x to the fourth, okay? How would you differentiate? Okay, you're just going to say plus 4y to the third. But this is y and this is not x. So you have to do the, the chain rule. You know, you have to differentiate y itself. And when you differentiate y itself, it's going to be dy dx. And that's where your dy dx comes from. So now let's isolate dy dx. We're going to have... Um, 4y cubed dy dx equals negative 4x cubed. And then we have dy dx is equal to negative 4x cubed over 4y cubed, which gives us negative x cubed over y cubed. And that's it. dy dx equals negative x cubed over y cubed. We just need to differentiate this one more time. Now, because this is a quotient, we just apply the quotient rule. The quotient rule is what you have right there. Remember that if a function is a quotient, that is, the numerator is a function of x, the denominator is a function of x, then the derivative of that function, like we have here, is going to be v du dx minus u dv dx over v squared. Apply it to this doing implicit differentiation also, I need to be much cleaner. So let's do that. So applying this, we're going to have the second derivative will be d2y dx squared. So d2y dx squared will be equal to, remember this would be our v, so that would be y cubed multiplied by the derivative of the top, which would be 3x what, what do we do to the negative sign? Um, okay, let's not throw the negative sign away. Um, so I'm just going to leave it on the side here along this line, and then we do our calculation without using it. Let's just leave it the way it is, okay? So we're going to have y cubed multiplied by the derivative of this. That's going to be 3x squared times 3x squared minus x cubed multiplied by the derivative of the bottom, that's going to be 3y squared dy dx. Don't forget, every time you differentiate the y, you have to multiply it by dy dx. Okay, and all that divided by this squared. The square of y cubed will be y to the sixth. Okay, now this is it. We just need to collect like terms and do what we need to do. However, there's something here, dy dx, we're not looking for dy dx, we're looking for d2y dx squared. So what is dy dx? 
right there. So let's just take this entire term and put it here and see what it's going to do to this term because you're multiplying this term by dy dx. So this is going to be, we'll still leave the negative sign. All of this will become um, 3x squared y cubed, okay? Let's draw the line. Minus, see, I'm still ignoring the negative sign. We're going to use it later or we'll never use it. Let's see. Let's see. So this is going to be 3x cubed y squared, 3x cubed y squared multiplied by negative x cubed over y cubed, negative x cubed over y cubed. Okay. Now divided by y to the sixth. Okay. This is where your algebra skills will show up. Now remember, when you multiply this by this, this y squared will cancel two of these and you have one left, okay? And then this negative is gonna change this to a positive. So the next line you have is gonna look like this. You'll still have your negative here, okay? And then this is gonna be three x squared y cubed. This becomes plus, okay? This x cubed multiplies this, it becomes three x to the sixth, this y squared has canceled two of this. Oh, that's all you have. 3x to the sixth over y. Ah, divided by y to the sixth. Okay, so what can we do? We can actually get rid of this y by multiplying each of these terms by y. Okay, if we multiply this by y, this by y, this by y, we do that by doing this can say y over y, okay? We just multiply. That way, this y will take out this y, but it will multiply this y, it becomes y to the fourth. So your answer is now negative. You have three x squared y to the fourth plus, what's left here is just gonna be three x to the sixth, because this y will be gone, multiplied by that, and this becomes y to the seventh y to the seventh, which will be equal to, um, let's, let's just collect the factors that we can take out. We can take out three x squared. Okay, so that's gonna be negative three x squared into what is left will be y to the fourth plus, to take out three x squared, we have x to the fourth. Ah, interesting over, oh, oh no, that negative belongs to the middle line, okay? Don't lose it, over y to the seventh. Okay, we're done with our calculation. However, if you remember, y to the fourth plus x to the fourth was the question. And that was 16. So I could go back here and put 16 here, okay? So that means this expression is negative 3x squared multiplied by 16 over y to the seventh, and that would give me negative. Three times 16 is 48. Negative 48 x squared over y to the seventh. And that is the 2y dx squared. implicit differentiation. It's cleaner. Hope you learned something. If you did, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you give this video a positive comment. Give it a like. Give it a share. Be nice. Don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.